Hello and welcome to Malmakes. Today we're going to be painting Rainbow Road from Mario Kart DS. This is the full version. If you're interested in the time lapse, you can click on the card here. Otherwise, let's get started. For this piece, I've gone ahead and sketched it out. Now, I'm going with the DS version because I like the way the rainbow kind of goes with the path as opposed to red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple down the path that way. So, I like that look better and I think it looks better, especially for the painting I plan to do. So, I'm going to be working from that kind of idea. Um, now, my background is going to be outer space and I'm going to do this like I've done a few other paintings but we're gonna go ahead and go over that still. In my last few galaxy paintings, they've been very, very pink. So with this one, I wanna keep it a little bit cooler. So on my palette, I have cyan, which is over here, titanium white, a green I made up back from Misty Castle. This is just whatever was left from it back in the tube. And then I have some doxine purple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I have a natural sea sponge here that I've gotten wet and squeezed all the water out. So it's still wet, but it's not dripping. And I'm just gonna go ahead into my cyan paint and then I'm going to go ahead and just start to bring in this galaxy. So I'm putting a little bit more green towards the outer parts and then I'm using a little bit more of an indigo color, which is the dogzine purple and the cyan, kind of where my galaxy is. And then I'll use a little bit of white, just to kind of lighten up the middle here. Once I'm happy with the light purple, and then the blue, and then the green, I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of black, and just kind of add in this in a few places. Now I wasn't really washing my sponge out between colors, so everything kind of got a little mixed together. Now throughout here when I was adding the black, I did add a little bit of blue because it just was on the sponge and that's how it worked out. And then I went and took a little bit of white on top of that, and then I speckled that in here. So there's a very, very soft kind of dullish blue-gray, and that's on there too. But the next thing I need to do is I have high flow acrylic, which is basically kind of an ink, but it's still acrylic paint, and um, this is in titanium white, so it's nice and thick or I mean opaque, not thick. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my palette, and it's very, very liquidy, so I need to be careful it doesn't run all over the place. And then I have an old toothbrush here, and it's a very, very stiff one, it's not too soft. And I'm just gonna tap the top of the bristles in like this, just get a little bit here, and then I'm gonna pull the bristles back and kind of just let them go, and they're gonna just make stars everywhere. And I can go overboard with this. It's possible to do too much. So I need to be careful and take a few breaks just to make sure I can stop and see and that I like where it's at and that it doesn't need any more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap a bunch of stars on here and kind of do a bit more on this lighter part. Once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to let it dry very, very well because I don't want any of that to get scratched off when it's still wet. My next step for this piece is to use my chalk pastel pencil to start to draw in the outline of the road. And you can see here, I'm going to kind of have it curve up from the left side of the canvas and then do a loop before it goes off. And over here, it's going to start slightly above halfway. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I have it exactly where I want with this pencil. Acrylic paints have a bit of transparency, at least some colors do, so I'm concerned that some of my colors just won't be as bright as I want them to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a bit of titanium white and just prime this whole thing white first. That way I know all my colors will be nice and bright and I'll be able to see the entire rainbow.
I've had a lot of questions lately about how I manage to get such sharp lines when I'm painting. Now for this painting, what I'm doing is I'm using a Simply Simmons um, extra stiff bristle brush, and then I just get a little bit of paint on the very edge of my bristles, set it down, and then just pull along the way the bristles go. So I can make some nice sharp lines. Before I paint the rainbow on the white part, I want to make sure I have it right where everything is spaced equally. So I've pulled all my chalk pastel colors and I have them here in rainbow order. So I'm just going to go ahead with these and kind of mark in where the colors are going to go just to make sure that when I do the paint, I have all of it equal. Like the red is a bit smaller and the yellow is a bit wider. So I want to make sure that's all right before I paint. Now on the actual road, the rainbow isn't just stripes, it's a nice smooth transition through all the colors. So what I'm doing is I have most of my colors mixed up on my palette, so I can quickly move from one to the next to make sure that they're still wet on the canvas and that they'll kind of blend together very nicely. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with my plain primary red, and that's going to be my cool red, and it's going to go on the outside of the rainbow. And then I have my violet, and then I'll just keep working my way through my colors. My other red is going to be a slightly orange red to make it warmer as opposed to the cooler red, but I'm just going to work my way through all of them and do this whole section first, and then I'll go on and finish the loop. Now I'm switching over to my violet color and I'm going to paint the same sort of stripe. And I know they're not going to blend perfectly right now, but I still have the red color on my palette and I have my blue so I can make sure those are a good transition. And you'll also notice there's a little bit of white left at the top of the road. I'm just going to leave that white for now. Um, there's a little bit of white there in game, but I'll clean it up and make it look better later because I'm not too worried about it. That red is just plain out of the bottle, so I don't have to worry about running out or trying to mix it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in my violet color and then try and blend the red and the violet together. I finished up the rainbow part and I'm realizing this white that I have here, um, it needs to be touched up anyway, but I think it's too bright compared to everything else. It's distracting. So I've mixed up a light gray and then I'm just going to go ahead and repaint all the edges, clean them up, but in light gray this time. The road is all done, so it's time to start marking in the walls. 
In the Mario Kart 64 version, there's star walls across the entire part of Rainbow Road, but this is based on the DS version, so I'm only going to put a few in. I'm going to mark in a little bit up here, across this part, and then a little bit on the loop, and just like always, I'm doing it in chalk first, in case I mess up. While I was drawing, I realized I have a mistake. Um, because this is the top of the road here, and then it flips to the back of the road, um, the part I had coming forward, I had this outside cooler part of the rainbow coming forward, so essentially this would have been the top of it, and you would have been going on the outside, which wasn't what I wanted to have happen. So I had to repaint this part white so I could redo the rainbow throughout there to make this part actually the back of the track where the cart wouldn't go. So I painted that white. I'm going to let that dry, but in the meantime, I'm going to start blocking in some of the stars on the gate. Now that I've fixed this twist, I'm realizing this one is also backwards. So I'm just taking some white paint and I'll just repaint it white and then flip it back the other way. Having touched up everything, I think I'm finally ready to actually get started on the side balls. So like I had said before, I'm just going to go ahead and draw them in. And I had a problem with them earlier, they kind of looked like they were all laying flat. So now I'm going to try redrawing them, making sure my stars are totally vertical straight up and down. And then if I'm happy with it, I'll start painting. Now I'm just adding in some of the fine details. The beginning and the ends of all of these sidewalls have this torch looking thing. It's just kind of a cone with a star on top. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of mark that in with white first. I've drawn the stars kind of squared off at the edges and pointy, but I'm going to be painting them slightly rounded. So I'm just going to go around the outside and just kind of curve my way through all five points. I've painted everything white, so it's time to start adding some colors. I'm going to start by painting all of these stars yellow, um, and I just have a plain yellow straight out of the tube. While I'm painting these stars, I thought I'd take a moment to talk about why I've decided to paint Mario Kart, and then specifically the Mario Kart DS version. Now I've played pretty much every version of Mario Kart there is. Um, I'm not a super big fan of the Super Nintendo version because it kind of makes me dizzy to play that way, but um, I started playing Mario Kart 64, that was my first one, back at a lock-in at the YMCA for Girl Scouts. Um, some of my troop members and I, we played it all night and we had so much fun. Um, and then later, I played the DS version in 2008 over the summer. I had gone to Chicago with a bunch of people from Starman.net, and it was actually the second time I had ever met Steven in person. And I brought my DS. I didn't have Mario Kart, but someone else did, and you could like send it, and we could all play together. So um, we had a lot of fun 
just like a whole group of us, like there were so many people that had DS's all playing Mario Kart together. And then um, I talked a little bit earlier about why I've chosen to paint the DS version. Well, I just like the way the rainbow goes a bit better, and the other games it doesn't go along with the track, it kind of does this stripe thing all the way down it. So I think it looks better aesthetically, and so that's why I've chosen to do that. So let's finish painting these stars. I finished up the star poles, so it's time to start adding some of the green in. Now there's just a touch of green on these stars, and it kind of alternates like it's in the bottom left corner, and the next one will be top right, bottom left, top right, bottom left. So I have kind of a light blue-green color here, and I'm just going to add those to all my stars. The last thing I'm going to add are some item boxes, and I'm just going to put those over here with chalk first. And then it's just all the same rainbow colors on top, but in a checkerboard pattern. For the surface of the item box, as you can see, I'm doing a checkerboard pattern, and then I'll start to fill in the rainbows on top. I finished priming the boxes, so it's time to add the rainbows on top. And the rainbow only goes on the checkerboard pattern, and then there's kind of just this white outline for the rest of the box. But unlike this rainbow, which does kind of the Roy G. Biff thing, the other one is kind of shifted, where it starts at yellow and ends at orange. So it's like yellow, green, blue, purple, and all the way back to orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and then just start with my yellow. For the shadows on the boxes, I'm going to be using a shading gray, which is basically just a very transparent black. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint these little ovals I've drawn in, let it dry, and see how dark it is. It might need two or three coats before it's as dark as I want it to be. The next thing to do is to draw in the question marks. So I'm just using my chalk, and I'm going to fill that in first, and then fill it white. Now, in the game, the question marks inside the blocks rotate, kind of like this, but all the way around. So I'm going to have a couple being like straightforward question marks, one's going to be backwards because it's flipped over, and then I'm going to have one kind of in the process of turning. So like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and paint all of these white. I connected the dot and the rest of the question mark together because I'm just going to go ahead and shade the whole thing with grays, and then I'm going to outline everything in black and then just kind of draw a line to separate the two, because in the game they're just connected. So I'm just going to be using some grays, whites, and blacks to shade the question mark, and then I'm going to go around the whole outside in black. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and re-outline the boxes. When I did the rainbows, I wasn't too careful about where I was painting, so I'm just going to go ahead and do some touch-up with that.
I'm doing a little bit of touch up on this box and I just painted it that light blue color. Um, while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and do my outlining because then I'm almost done. And we're done! We have Rainbow Road from Mario Kart DS. If you're interested in this piece, you could buy a print or a poster or bid on this original canvas. There's links down below. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon. You can find out more at supportmal.com. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future episodes of Mal Makes, and I'll see you again here for another video game painting.